good everybody it's cj beats we're back at it again today today i'm going to show you guys how you can tune your drums in logic pro x uh, specifically using drum machine designer and uh, i have another tutorial that goes over how to use drum machine designer with your own sounds i'll put a link in the description for that it's probably a good idea if you haven't watched that to watch that first to understand how i'm utilizing drum machine designer in logic pro x and then you can come to this video later and see how i tune the drums so as you can see here this kick i've already tuned to the key of uh, c1 this is a free uh, plugin by Melda Productions called M Tuner. Put a link in the description for that as well. Logic has a built in tuner, but it doesn't really work well on drums, I noticed. So I found this little guy, and it definitely helps out a lot. Let's get to uh, tuning our drums. Uh, as I mentioned before, the kick drum has already been tuned to the key of C1. And uh, we can move on to the next uh, sound, which is a snare. Okay. And if you hit X on your keyboard, to bring up your mixer you can always expand all of the sounds that you've imported into uh, drum machine designer and add a tuner to them all right so i'm just going to hit uh, alt on my keyboard and drag this plugin over like so so the next sound also has this tuner enabled now and uh, let's go ahead and play that sound that's this guy right here uh, you have a minimum frequency and a maximum frequency this basically uh, tells the uh, tuner which uh, frequencies to hone in on and uh, and verify uh, the the pitch that they're at. So, if I were to bring up my EQ and turn it on, I can see that the prominent sound is anywhere between two to five hundred. Right, <clears throat> that's where it's sort of peaking. So what I will do is get this guy to two hundred as a minimum frequency. That's like this side, you know anything from here to there so 200 just roughly you know what I mean and then uh, say 1k is the drop-off okay so what it's telling me right now is that this is in the key of F I put a link in the description for a key cheat sheet so you can understand uh, where you know if you need to tune this up or down now so since this is an F, you know, it depends on if you want to go up or down in the scale. C is closer if we go down. So let's go down in the scale. So that's a C3. That's a C sharp 3. If we bring this down one more, we get a C. And <clears throat> you notice it jumps around a lot. So what I generally do is uh, I play the sound, let it go away, play it again. And then play it again. Usually at the third time, I get the correct uh, pitch. C3 is prominent. So it keeps coming back. So you could also use the fine tune to fine tune it. So if it says negative 19 cents there, we can go up 19 cents. And then it brings it closer to the, uh, to the middle. All right, so we've uh, tuned our kick, our snare. Let's uh, try and tune this clap this clap is going to be hard because if you listen to it uh, there's a lot happening on that frequency spectrum we could also see this in the EQ so we have sounds happening from around 600 all the way to almost 20k so um, let's do the same thing here find the sound and we'll click and drag that plug in over bring it up and once again, it's anywhere from 600, so I'll bring this down to 600, just roughly. 583 to all the way to 20K. Okay, so now you can see this is already sort of tuned. Um, as you can tell, I tuned it beforehand into C5. All right, this is what the original sounded like. That was a G. And I brought it to a C5. Uh, it's still negative 22 cents, so we can bring it up 22 cents to a perfect C5. Okay, so we've uh, we have our kick, our snare, our clap, all so far tuned into the key of C. This is great. All right, let's uh, continue um, with this process. I'll uh, bring this plugin over to the next one here. And that's the snare right here, this high-pitched snare. 
bring everything back to zero. Just like that, okay. And we'll bring up our EQ, see what happens with this sound here. Okay, so prominent is around 490, right? And it's going anywhere from 200 all the way to around 12,000, 13,000. So bring this down to like maybe 13,000 all the way to 200. So it's like this. Okay. So now let's uh, let's see what the prominent note is for this. So that's a G3 it's saying. You know, I let I let the sound completely go away and try it again. So that's definitely a G. So we uh, have the option of either going up or down. Uh, because this is sort of a high-pitched snare, we could actually bring it down. So that's an A-sharp. D-sharp. Sometimes it's going to be hard, so you just have to be patient. And if, uh, if it doesn't seem to work, you could also use the EQ and cut out frequencies if it's getting confused. So we know that the prominent one was around 450, so... So that's a little more accurate now. So we could bring this up a couple semitones to a C3. There we go, that's better. So now we know that this is in a C3, and we utilize the EQ to sort of hone in on that uh, that main frequency that's uh, prominent throughout this uh, this particular sound, uh, and be able to you know figure out what the sound is so again if it's a if it's a sound that's not working well use your EQ to sort of fix the sound up uh, find the prominent frequency that's usually the frequency that peaks above the numbers and then um, fine-tune it you know using the minimum frequency uh, the maximum frequency to really find the uh, the exact key uh, see if I <clears throat> turn this EQ off you know, it jumps all over the place. But if I turn this back on and hone in on that main frequency, we could tell that C is the prominent key. We've uh, tuned all of our drum and percussion sounds to the key of C. We'll close out all of these and let's have a listen and see what this did. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Uh, possibly you learned something today. If you have any questions, you know what to do. Put those in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notifications button so you're notified anytime I upload new content. If you guys have ideas for new tutorials, please also utilize the comment section for that. My name's CJ, and I'm out for now. Peace.